Now let us proceed with further discussions on 5.1 vectors in 3 dimensions. So now let's go through few examples. Okay, so example number 1. Given the vector A okay, with uh, the component of negative 4i plus 2j plus k and then vector B we have 3i minus 3j plus k. So if we want to find for A, magnitude and then the unit vector of A, right? So the second part, you have to find A plus B and 2A minus 3B. So let's do this together. So for question number A, first we want to find the magnitude. So this is the vector that we have, negative 4i plus 2j plus k. So the magnitude is simply write that in this form, magnitude of A, modulus of vector A. So we will take each component, so negative 4, and then square that, plus with 2 square, plus with the, comp the value for component K is 1, plus 1 squared. Okay, so square root of this component, that will be equals to square root of 16, plus 4, plus 1. So that will be 21. Okay, so the magnitude of A is equals to 21. Right, and the next part, uh, you are also required to find the unit vector. So unit vector, uh, we represent that as, okay, so unit vector, we represent that as A, like this. So the formula is just the vector A divided by the magnitude of vector A. So just write that back in our formula. So vector A is negative 4i okay, plus with 2g plus with k then divided by the magnitude that we already have over here is square root of 21. Right? So just write that separately to have it in each component. So you will have negative 4 over 21i plus 2 over 21j and then plus with 1 over 21k over here. Right, so that is for part A to find the magnitude and unit vector. Now let us proceed to the second part of the question. So we have to find the vector A plus vector B, right? So you have to find vector A plus vector B. So remember, when we do the addition of vectors, we are taking each component and then adding that together. So for component i, we take that negative 4 plus 3i and then we're going to have plus with Okay, so put your line underneath, 2 minus 3, and then we have j, and then we have plus with 1 plus 1, and then that is for component k. Right, so simplify these values together, we will have negative i minus j, and then for component k, that will be plus 2k. So that is for a plus b. And then we're going to have the second part, 2a minus 3b. So first, we have to multiply with a scalar for the uh, vector a and vector b. Okay, so vector a, you're going to take 2, negative 4i, plus 2j, plus k over here. Okay, and then minus with 3, multiply with vector b. So vector b is 3i minus 3j plus k. Right? So what we're going to have next is you will take the same component together. So we will have over here, this one will be negative 8 minus 9. That is for component i. And then plus with 4 plus 9. That is for the component of j. And then plus with 2 minus 3, that is for component k. Alright, so 
then just simplify each component that we have then you're gonna have negative 17i plus 13j and then minus with k all right so this is the first example that we have 